Hello, beta testers. I'm hyped for the 18th for all the wrong reasons. I want Crystal Dynamics to prove me wrong, but I'd have to be insane to expect anything other than the incompetence that they've demonstrated since launch. Their live streams demonstrating next gen performance have gone about as well as you'd imagine. And if they fail to include the villains to the sectors like they failed three months ago, I'm scared I'm about to become this game's biggest hype man all over the internet for this two villain still Marvel game. I'm honestly baffled. I love Marvel more than the shills do, enough to object to Crystal Dynamics' seven month disrespect of this property. I also respect myself enough not to bow and lick the boot of a studio that's not inspired enough or capable enough to deliver a functioning product. All looter players are familiar with RNG, but can you imagine having to rely on luck in hoping that the dailies will work for you today? Because this live service is that buggy over half a year after launch, and y'all defending this? This is your fault, Crystal Dynamics. You, Crystal Dynamics, made a Marvel game without synergy attacks. Crystal made a Marvel game where Hulk can't jump high, Hulk can't pick up cars or large objects. You know damn well if Insomniac made a fucking Avengers game, we wouldn't feel limited like we can't go too high without the game shitting its pants. We wouldn't be doing these two-story jumps with fucking Hulk, bro. But Crystal demanding ugly-ass skins when the world did and still does have Marvel fever. And every game that attempts this does it better than you. Don't think I don't understand why some people defend this game. It's because what they expect and want from a game is not what we do. Some people just want to load in and beat up some people and technically be Captain America, technically be Iron Man. And to be honest, that's what most of us wanted, was our beautiful, untouched, unaltered heroes to run around and beat up different Marvel villains in different Marvel locations. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but with these graphics. Even Destiny, but with a Marvel coat of paint, would have been perfect. But with only two villains, no patrol, dailies don't work, Crystal, you half-assed this whole last game. And you'll never understand how to deliver what the people are looking for. So it breaks my heart thoroughly to watch people constantly re-articulating what they want <laughs> as if you not hearing is the problem because you won't communicate to make it apparent that you hear these people specifically. But the bottom line, the ugly truth, is a Lego game can nail the feeling of a superhero co-op game better than you can. A Battle Royale game is out here shitting on your game's obnoxiously terrible art design that you're inexplicably doubling down on after half a year. Players have run out of the sources to articulate that they want one-to-one -one accurate comic book skins, MCU skins. Your ploy is what? To get a group of moron YouTubers to just go, oh, well, actually, it's actually great. You know, after I look at it, I'm really coming around on it. Like, I saw the skin and it was ugly, but then I saw somebody take a picture from the right angle with the right lighting and I was like, bruh, I'm gonna have to go back and get that skin. You know how fucking stupid you sound? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why y'all ignoring the property to put your dirty, forgettable spins on these characters? You wouldn't have to convince people that you were passionate if it were true. It would drip from you. Have you ever heard this quote? When you're good at something, you will tell everyone. When you're great at something, everyone will tell you. That's a quote from Walter Payton. Memorize that shit. Live by that shit. Humble yourself. Fuck is wrong with you, Crystal Dynamics. Crystal is so awful that Fortnite can pull off a better Lara Croft than they could right now. You know why? Because Epic, the developer of Fortnite, is not allergic to the legacy. They know what works, so they're not trying to fix what ain't broken. They know what fans want, and more specifically are willing to pay for. Fortnite is a free game, remember this, so they know what they need to supply 
and they meet that demand and deliver player and fan creations concept and artwork frequently make its way into the fortnite game other games do this same thing that's what community is that's what communication is it ain't just a select crew of people who only have nice things to say about your fuckboy game bro it's the players the actual players i'm so sorry meanwhile after seven months you're farting out a campaign replay but you can't select the missions or chapters so people have to sit through hours of kamala khan people are right in believing you're trying to kill this game seven months for a customizable harm room unless your idea of customization involves environments or setting modifiers because that shit's not in the game also did i mention it's a solo mode just like the 48 floor mega hive that you're expected to sit through if you want some of the game's highest tier loot but who are we fooling why would you even consider it when the loot is so terrible <laughs> Did I mention that players cannot choose the same character, so it looks like only one of you are going to be using Hawkeye. Marvel's Avengers is a joke that gets funnier the more you look at it. Doctor Strange? Scarlet Witch? Nope. Not even Falcon or Winter Soldier. Cross promotion? What's that? Thank God Hawkeye will be joining the cast of boring ass brawlers because it's really punching robots the video game. If you're playing as Hulk, Captain America, Black Widow, Thor, Kamala Khan, you're punching robots, homie. With Kate and Hawkeye, maybe you'll be shooting robots with your arrows from your bow. Maybe you'll be shooting them occasionally with Widow. But otherwise, it's all fists. No kink shaming, Crystal Dynamics. But did you know that when people think Marvel, they think flight, telekinesis, super speed, magic, energy blasts, cosmic power, teleportation. And not fake ass teleportation and portals like you're just adding powers to some boring character to hopefully make them more interesting. <sighs> but abilities that are true to these characters and built into their kit that would be incorporated into their combat. You left out people's favorites, Crystal. Heroes that people actually love, as opposed to the ones that you're trying to force. Even with how ugly you made them, some people have such a passionate devotion to some of these heroes that they would buy every outfit, buy every takedown. They would buy their underwhelming battle pass of a challenge card off of you fuckboys. But you don't have the sense to appeal, Crystal Dynamics. The answer to whether or not Game Pass could save this game is a result sounding no. What this game needs is a miracle. A different studio at the helm. Outriders coming to Game Pass? That's huge news. Because it's brand new, has crossplay, and did I mention it's competent? I want to say more. I honestly won't have to say more. When it comes to Marvel's Avengers, come the 18th, it'll be much more effective to show you. I love you, listener. Thank you for liking and subscribing. The XP grind increase really got the internet's attention here. So I hope that Marvel's Avengers puts on a show. My prediction for the Square Enix showcase is that they'll dangle something juicy with a bunch of soon and no concrete dates just to do some damage control for what's going to be an underwhelming update, even though everybody says it's so huge. We'll see. Join me on the 18th for the streams. Love you. Can't wait to see you there.